But now the voters soundly rejected the permanent tax levy for the Columbus Zoo. What's next? ABC 6's Tom Bosco is live at the zoo tonight asking that very question. Tom? Bob, this was the first ever defeat at the polls for a zoo levy, and the chairman of the zoo's board of directors says that really stings. I don't want to go through this again. Zoo board chairman Phil Pakelny says he's not sure why voters said no, but he and the board will be looking hard at the results of the vote. We just need to come up with a plan that is the proper plan. Could it have been outside money poured into the campaign against the levy by the conservative Koch brothers? <laughs> it certainly didn't help. But again, I, you know, I mean, I can't blame anybody but us. Was it the plan for a satellite zoo in downtown Columbus on the Scioto Peninsula? I don't think it was any one thing. How about the fact that the zoo is in Delaware County, near Powell, but only Franklin County voters are asked to pass a levy? The county doesn't think so and says Franklin County reaps benefits that Delaware County doesn't. The $238 million of economic development comes to Franklin County. The levy would have paid for updates to the zoo hospital, a new transportation system in the park, and exhibit updates. Those are on hold now, but zoo patrons shouldn't notice any immediate effects of the levy failure. The zoo that everybody sees today is the zoo they'll see this year and next year. All right, they'll see the same zoo for now, but the zoo needs to pass a levy by the end of 2015 or else they'll have no tax revenue coming in, and that tax revenue is a large chunk of the zoo's operating budget. For now, reporting live in Powell, I'm Tom Bosco, ABC 6 News.